Welcome to the premiere episode of our new series, where we uncover the powerful synergy between nutrition and skincare, guiding you towards optimal health and radiant beauty. So hi, my name is Jan Benham, founder and CEO of The Aroma Shop, Pavez Cosmetics and Salon Perez. And today we address a pressing concern. Are you experiencing skin puffiness on your face and inflammation or a general sense of sluggish, sluggishness? Join us as we unravel the profound effect of the lymphatic system on both your health and beauty. So what is the lymphatic system? We talk, a lot of people talk about the circulatory system, but very few people talk about the lymphatic system. And in my mind, the lymphatic system is one of the most powerful systems in the body. And I'm going to speak to you about it in layman's terms so it's easy to understand. This is how I used to explain to my clients many years ago as a holistic health practitioner. So the lymphatic system is a series, is a circulatory system just like the blood circulation. And the lymph vessels, what they do is when food is taken and oxygen is taken to your cells and your skin and your organs and what have you, it's taking nutrition and oxygen. What comes back out of those cells is the garbage, the waste disposal. And the lymphatic system is the waste disposal unit. So it's your garbage collection system in the body. Now these vessels collect all the garbage and they run just underneath the skin, the vessels do, just above the muscles. And they don't have any valves of their own. So it's the muscles that by pumping the muscles with exercise, for example, you move the lymph throughout the body. And then the lymph basically collects and goes to the lymph nodes, like underneath your armpits, underneath here, where if there is any bacteria or any infection, the lymph nodes work to destroy and keep us healthy. So it's one of our first defenses against infection. Then the clean lymph is then pumped back into the bloodstream where it's eliminated through the normal procedures, like through the kidneys. So it's a very important system to keep clean and not to overburden it, which is what most of us do. So I'm going to talk about different hacks on how you can improve your lymphatic system. So throughout this episode, I'll, I'll unveil nine pivotal health changes categorized as hacks. And this can, any, any one of these hacks can improve the lymphatic efficiency. So just by incorporating one of these changes, you'll witness a remarkable improvement in your overall health and experience positive transformations in your skin. So let's embark on this journey together and discover how these hats can revitalize your body, fostering the radiant glow you've always been yearning for. So hack one, dietary upgrade. Let's kick off with a game-changing nutrition tip that can transform your health and skin. Consider making a three-in-one shift if you already haven't, so bid farewell to either sugar, bread, or ultra-processed foods from your daily meals. Why? Well, these culprits often wreak havoc on our bodies and can significantly impact the efficiency of our lymphatic system. Sugar tends to fuel inflammation, while bread, especially refined breads, can uh, clog up and can weigh down on your system and clog up, um, make everything work more sluggish. Ultra processed foods, they're loaded with additives and preservatives that your body doesn't quite know how to handle. So by eliminating just one of these, whether it's bread, sugar, or ultra processed foods, you're taking a proactive step towards reducing the burden on your lymphatic system. This change alone can make a noticeable difference in how you feel about how your skin looks. So choose your swap wisely and get ready to feel the positive impact on your overall well-being. So hack number two, again, intermittent fasting. So fasting is a powerful way that your body can eliminate, so your body can go into autography. 
So if you fast for a certain amount of time, your body will start eating itself and it doesn't eat the good stuff, it gets rid of the bad stuff. So it'll start by eating all cells, waste products, and this creates a unique opportunity for the body to clear itself out. I know whenever I fast, I always break out so that my body pushes it out. And this allows for then more nutrition to come in afterwards to feed your body. Now, not everyone wants to do a one, two, three day fast, but you can do intermittent fasting. And it doesn't mean by doing drastic changes, you could start by saying um, fasting from eight o'clock in the evening until midday the following day. And this allows your body time to rest and repair, supporting the lymphatic system's efforts in clearing out waste and toxins accumulated during the day. And it also gives your digestive system a break and you'll be enabling your body to focus on cleansing and renewal. And this simple change can work wonders for your energy levels, mental clarity, and yes, even your skin's radiance. So experiment with it. It might just become a game changer in your journey towards looking and feeling and looking your best. Hack number three, embracing ghee. Now let's delve into this ancient remedy that has stood the test of time. Ghee, which is clarified butter, is known for its Ayurvedic roots and celebrated for its various health benefits. Ghee can be a game changer, particularly for your lymphatic system. By incorporating ghee into your diet, you can promote improved lymphatic flow, aiding the body's natural detoxification process. Swap out conventional seed oils in your cooking and opt for ghee instead. Its unique properties not only enhances the flavors of your dishes, but also brings along a host of health benefits. So ghee, the ghee's composition supports better absorption of nutrients and possesses anti-inflammatory properties, potentially assisting in reducing the burden on your lymphatic system. Its rich history in Ayurvedic medicine attests to its holistic healing properties making it a worthwhile addition to your dietary habits. By making this simple yet impactful switch to ghee from using vegetable oils, you're not just adding flavor, but potentially boosting your overall well-being and supporting your lymphatic system in its quest for optimal health. Now I had to talk about the next one. This is hack number four, which is quit smoking if you haven't already done so. I don't need to say much about it, but it can significantly impact your overall health, including your lymphatic system. So stop smoking if you do smoke. Smoking introduces harmful toxins and chemicals into your body, which can hinder the lymphatic system ability to function optimally. The harmful effects of smoking are well documented and quitting can lead to immediate and long-term health benefits. Smoking not only affects your lungs, but also impacts circulation, and also the body's ability to cleanse itself effectively. By quitting smoking, you'll not only reduce the burden on your lymphatic system, but also improve your overall health. It's a challenging challenge, it's a challenging change, but the rewards in terms of your well-being, skin health, and lymphatic function are immense. Consider seeking support to aid you on this journey towards better health. Hack number five, skin brushing. This is a simple yet effective ritual that can do wonders for your lymphatic system. Skin brushing. This involves using a dry brush on your skin before stepping into the shower, following the direction of your lymphatic flow. So how this works is skin brushing stimulates the lymphatic vessels situated just beneath the skin surface, starting from your feet so you, you, you want to get a firm brush by the way, not a soft one, and you just use it once on the area. And I, what I do, I just brush once on each part of the skin. So I start at my feet, brush upwards, front, 
sideways back and then I brush my thighs upwards always in the direction of the limp towards the groin then I do my arms again brushing up one for each so it only takes a few a, a minute or two and once you get used to it, it's like brushing your teeth you can't do without it now you don't skin brush your face or your neck or your breasts but you can skin brush across your chest and across your back so you're brushing out to the lymph nodes here on the on the tummy i go downwards to the lymph here so i'm going down 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 i go around my bum up and over so brushing up and over to the other side up and over up and over and the last thing i do skin brushes you want to get one with a stick on the end that can put in and then literally I just brush down my back it feels like this really feels good so by incorporating skin brushing into your morning routine you're not just rejuvenating your skin but also aiding the lymphatic system in its cleansing process this practice promotes smoother skin encourages detoxification and supports the body's natural ability to eliminate waste and toxins. So grab a dry brush and make this invigorating and beneficial practice a part of your daily morning routine ritual. You'll soon notice the positive effects, not just on your skin, but on your overall well-being. Which takes us to massage. So hack number six, aromatherapy massage. So Let's explore the delightful practice of body massage using aromatherapy, body or aromatherapy oil or cream. So massage, especially when coupled with aromatic oils, offers a twofold effect. Not only does it help relax your muscles and calm your mind, but it also aids in lymphatic drainage. When massaging your body with an aromatherapy oil or cream, the gentle pressure and circular motions assist in stimulating the lymphatic flow. So if you want to go for an aromatherapy massage, that's great, but not all of us can afford to do so. So you can make your own. Get a bottle of sweet almond oil or apricot kernel oil, and then add some essential oils that help are known for their lymphatic boosting properties, such as citrus oils like lemon, grapefruit, lime, cypress or juniper berry among others. Apply the, so you, you literally would just only mix around five to 10 drops to about 50 ml of oil and then you would probably apply five to 10 ml total of the oil so you've got enough for a little while to apply to your body and again you massage your body focusing on areas where the lymph nodes are underneath your armpits and the groin area the back of the knees is where some lymph nodes are even putting a little bit of massage oil around here where a lot of lymph nodes are around here and underneath the chin. So massaging here really moisturizes, gentle pressure and circular motions and moving everything upwards towards the lymphatic system. So now we come to hack number seven, using lavender essential oil. So lavender is a natural gem that can aid in supporting our lymphatic system. Did you know that by simply smelling lavender can stimulate the lymphatic system to work better? So how would you work, use this? So you can add a few drops of the lavender essential oil to your massage oil or cream. So that will enhance the benefits of the, of the lymphatic massage and also contribute to your relaxation and potentially aiding the lymphatic flow. Moreover, you could also consider adding three drops of lavender to your pillowcase just before bedtime. Lavender's soothing aroma not only promotes better sleep, but it also supports the lymphatic system indirectly. A good night's sleep is crucial for the lymphatic system to function, as it operates efficiently during rest, helping to flush out toxins. When the lymphatic system is congested, it can interfere with your sleep quality, creating a cycle. Lavender's calming effect helps address this, allowing for improved rest, which in turn supports optimal lymphatic function. So embrace 
the calming scent of lavender to support your, lavender, your lymphatic system and ensure a restful night's sleep, another crucial aspect of our overall well-being. Hack number eight, an exercise regime. Let's talk about a fundamental yet powerful change that significantly impacts your lymphatic system. Exercise. Engaging in regular physical activity isn't just about staying fit. It plays a crucial role in supporting your lymphatic function. When you exercise, your muscles contract and relax, creating a natural pumping action that helps move the lymph throughout the, your body. This movement assists in efficient circulation of lymphatic fluid, aiding in the removal of waste and toxins. Whether it's brisk walking, jogging, swimming, yoga, or any other physical activity you enjoy, incorporating at least 30 minutes of exercise into your daily routine can make a remarkable difference. Not only does it exercise boost your overall health and vitality, but it can also positively influence your lymphatic system's efficiency. So lace up those sneakers, find an activity you love, and get moving. Your lymphatic system will thank you for the boost in your circulation and detoxification. Hack number nine, lymphatic face massage. So lastly, let's explore the rejuvenating face massage technique designed to enhance lymphatic circulation, refine skin texture, and bring out a glowing complexion. This specialized massage targets the lymphatic pathways in your face and neck, helping to reduce puffiness and promote radiant skin. So I'm going to demonstrate and I will guide you through this effective face massage. And this technique will not only assist the lymphatic drainage, but also it will stimulate the circulation, helping your skin achieve a healthier and more vibrant appearance. So by incorporating this face massage into your skincare routine, you're actively supporting your skin's lymphatic system, promoting a clearer and more radiant complexion. Watch as we demonstrate this massage and feel free to follow along to experience the, the benefits firsthand. So I'm getting my uh, revitalizing um, all-in-one essence uh, skin cream, which also you can apply to the eyes. This is very on very soft it's not greasy so it doesn't leave a greasy feel but it's great for anybody who has a congested skin and also anybody who has a lot of allergies on their skin or rosacea and it's one of my favorite creams so I'm just going to show you how you can apply a cream to your face so take in a little bit of cream So on your neck, you want to you can massage up and down, but the primary thing is always on the up. So it's very important to massage your neck always and even your chest. Now what you're wanting to do is you want to move everything to the lymph. So everything is massaged, everything is up and out, everything. So you massage, massage, up. Now, also, then what you can do is just get your first two fingers and press, and press, and press. So you start on the side of your nose, press, you can press quite firmly here, and press outwards to your temple. You go a little further down the middle of your nose, press, press up, and you might feel some little bubbles there breaking down, that's congestion in your sinuses. And then go a little lower, run up the side of the nose, and press now up, 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 to again, to where all the lymphatic vessels are here. Then what you'll go back, you go back to the beginning and you push and press it up. Push, press up, push, press up. So this will help to drain any puffiness underneath your eyes. Then we come to the center of the forehead. So again,
again using our first two fingers you want to press you can even start below the eyebrow so pushing just below the eyebrow press and down so we're doing a little bit of acupressure then push out out and again the top of the forehead so we're doing three rows pushing pushing into the temple and I go back I pull up the center and out pull up the center and out and go a little bit higher so I'm doing three rows so up pushing up just over the top of the eyebrows then I come up a little higher middle of the forehead and again down and up to the top up and out that. Now it's tricky because we're not doing somebody else so when um, an esthetician works on you for example if I'm working on you I would be pushing up here so the trick is you want to push up push up push up and push up and if you can just squeeze underneath here helping the drains you literally just squeeze up under so you're pushing up, back of the hands up, back of the hands up. So you're giving yourself like a mini facelift. So if you do that every day, so you're adding a moisture cream, but you're also doing a little bit of a massage, precious drainage, precious drainage, then that will help your skin to By adopting just one of these nine steps can yield noticeable improvements in your health and skin quality. Yet, the real magic unfolds when multiple strategies are amalgamated, amplifying the benefits and bolstering your lymphatic system comprehensively. Take a moment to reflect how many of these steps are part of your current routine. Whether it's one, a few or none at all, Consider gradually integrating more practices into your life. Even a small change can manifest remarkable improvements in how you feel and in the radiance of your skin. As we conclude, I encourage you to take proactive steps towards enhancing your lymphatic system's health. Begin with one change, and as you embrace its effects, consider incorporating more. Your body will thank you for these positive transformations, guiding to you towards a healthier, more radiant version of yourself. And thank you for joining me on this illuminating journey. So if you wish to ask any questions, please contact me at aromashop.com or at perverse.nl. And it's bye for now.